My name's uh, Jim Mose. Uh, I live here in Brookings, South Dakota, and I'm the operations officer for Carl's TV and Appliance. I started feeling knee pain 20 years ago, but really the last five years had gotten pretty pretty difficult, so I started seeing Dr. Mayer about five years ago and just doing different types of procedures and treatments to try to prolong a little bit of time just because of my age. The knee pain, uh, I, it was at the point where I couldn't really take a dog for a long walk anymore, I couldn't take long walks. Uh, going upstairs, in particular going up, up and downstairs carrying any type of weight would feel a pain on every step. So it had gotten to the point where it was pretty, pretty uncomfortable day to day to day. Uh, live in Brookings, um, part of it ease, uh, part of it I heard some really good things, um, but most importantly, when I met Dr. Mayer a few years ago and started seeing him, I uh, felt I had developed a really nice relationship with him. Really professional and genuine. Um, from, from the very first visit, any time, any question I would ask, um, you always hear about people, doctors not t talking down to the patient, uh, totally opposite. And I've always had great experience with doctors, but Dr. Mayer in particular was very, very genuine and really speaks to the patient. Um, will take the time to, you know, show you exactly what they're doing, whether it be through um, a prop or through your actual knee or whatever, and actually shows you exactly what's going on. He's extremely easy to talk to um, and listens very well. I think Dr. Mayer, that's what he specializes in, is, as he educated me on how that procedure works. Um, I think primarily just understanding that it reduces soft tissue damage, takes away as little of the damaged bone as possible, I thought was really appealing to me to not do more than you had to do within the surgery. Well, as you go into the surgery, you have an idea of what's going to go, but the joint camp just really helps you understand prior to the day preparation because um, joint camp's not just about the joint it's a, it's also about the surgery and the nursing staff and um, what they do and everything so they take you through each and every step of the day the procedure and post care so um, from PT and OT pre-showing you the types of exercises types of equipment that you may need so you can actually purchase or get the equipment that you need before you before you come to the home so I found that day um, of the whole thing to be the most helpful because it really did help me kind of get a, a grasp as to what I was going to be going into within, within that next week. They do a pretty um, extensive series of CAT scans on the actual knee and the joint so they can get all different angles and through that they assess exactly what part of the bone is damaged and what they remove and then my understanding is they actually graph all that out before the surgery so when you do go into the surgery it's already predetermined exactly what will happen with the knee. Um, so I think for, for the medical professional, um, just the confidence level of doing the right thing for the patients is probably extremely high. Um, and for the patients, it's just the idea that you're going into the surgery already knowing what's going to happen is really comforting in that, that respect. Uh, seamless. Uh, I was, uh, knew exactly what I needed to do for preparation. Uh, my surgery was very early in the morning, so I was here at 5.30. They were ready for me, uh, had me prepped. I had, went through everybody that would be involved with the pre procedure came in and introduced themselves, told me what their role was, exactly what they would be doing and how the day was going. Um, I already started some of the conversation as to what would happen when I came out of surgery and how, they, how that would be um, handled. Went through the surgery, uh, come out of the surgery, um, again, they had me up and walking the very first time very, very soon, and then at that point, um, rest, and then just really actually starting into just the very, very early stages of the rehab process, and a uh, great experience. I was able to stay in the hospital for two nights, um, so really was able to get educated a lot over the course of those two days, and just how to pain management and movement and everything. And, um, so when I, when I did go home, I was really prepared to be able to go home and handle it on my own. From my experience, not only with this procedure, but in Brookings in general, um, just my regular doctor all the way through, Dr. Mayer, and then the, the nursing staff here at Brookings Hospital System, have just been excellent. Uh, every individual act, really seems like they actually care and they take an interest in you as a patient. Um, they, they understand what you're going through, they take the time to listen, they take the time to educate you on exactly what they're doing. And that, that's the part that I find the most impressive. They want you to have knowledge of what they're doing and why they are doing it. 
It's amazing what happens from day one through in the progression you see each and every day. You have to work hard at it though. It, it, you can't just go home. You have to work every single day at helping improve it and move it along. Within the first week, I already noticed that the actual pain in the actual knee joint doesn't exist anymore. Um, so when I'm doing work now, because I'm preparing my right knee, so I'm doing everything I do for my left knee, I do for my right knee at this point. Um, there's significant pain on some of the exercises. My right knee completely gone in the le left knee. The only real issue with the surgery knee now is just still working through the stiffness, still a little bit of swelling in that you just have to work through over the time. And your ligaments, they're now having to work longer and because they had shortened over, over the many years of just deterioration, having to relearn how to work that. And even that every day just gets better and better. Right now, I already know I could go for a long walk on this leg. Even at eight weeks, I already know that I could. I already know that I could go up and incline on a heel without feeling pain within the knee. And when I'm, when I'm looking at what I was trying to get out of it, it's just I felt I was too young to be in the type of pain that I was in. And I was looking ahead at golfing 10 years from now or going for hikes or going for walks and everything, where all of that was starting to be limited or if I did it there there was discomfort throughout the process even I, I love to golf but walking up a tee box or up a, incline on a, a green actually hurt to do which takes a little bit out of what's supposed to be a really fun time for you especially locally or within the local area um, being close to home it makes a big difference for your family members and for you because there's a comfort to it and it just felt to me much more intimate in that respect. I, I just felt like each person through the process took, took a vested interest in you. And I'm not saying that that doesn't happen at other facilities, but I know what, it, I know what happens here. And so um, I, I don't see any reason why a person would choose to go someplace else if they could be local. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash mythanks.